Welcome back to the broadcast. We are honored to have our next two guests back with us. They are the talented duo, Jacko Pierce. And we love that Jack O'Neill and Carrie Pierce have that formula for success down, and we want to know how they continue to work their magic. Welcome, guys. It's good to see you. We like to write the most embarrassing intros possible to watch your reaction. Thank you. Yeah, the magic between us is, is <laughs> Tell us about this magic. What's the form? Okay, and I you have the magic back, which is so exciting because you guys were apart for like five years. Yeah, we broke. We were together for 10, broke up for five, and we're back Tell together now for 10. Tell us about the breakup. Did, did, were there fists thrown? Was yeah, there a, anger? A lot of, uh, a lot of broken uh, furniture. Tele <laughs> televisions thrown out of hotel windows, yeah. one of those. So. Is it just hard when you're working with a good friend that much and that closely for so long? I mean, you said 10 years. I mean, is that is that tough every day? Do you become like is it a love hate thing <laughs> a little more on the on the uh, on the hate than on the, the love. Hate, a little yeah. more on the hate no it's like we're like two brothers you know it's kind of we know each other really well we've been together for a long time we kind of had to figure out how we work together the best yeah. and uh, it turns out that I, I i moved to new york and that's good for us that's good for us it's like when couples say oh we're, we do best when we're not in the same <laughs> that's house right. it's, a, it's, yeah. it's an open musician relationship <laughs> so to speak. Well, you guys are really popular. I know a lot of people very excited that you've been back together for as long as you have. And this new album, CD, do we call them albums anymore? Yeah, what do we, we do. call them? Like that yeah, it's a tough one. We call them records. We still call them records. Okay, good. It's a recording. Okay, even though it's a CD and no one really buys CDs, they buy <laughs> iTunes music <laughs> down. Yeah. Now, tell us about this one. This is recorded at the Windspear last September. It was our huge 25-year deal. So it was just, you know, the Windspear Opera House is just magical. Beautiful. So we wanted to you know, document it with video and document it with this record. And uh, there's actually a brand new song at the end on there called uh, This Is Our Time. So it's really... Uh, now tell cool. us about your fans because they're very loyal to y'all. I mean, I I have friends that range anywhere from in their 50s to their 20s. And y'all y'all kind of cross a lot of age barriers. How do you... What's the formula for doing that, would you say? Like that your audience... I mean, girls are screaming for y'all. Oh, yeah. That look are anyone this, from look college. Look at this guy, huh? Would I you mean, look how at do him? We, how can we resist huh? y'all? Huh? Uh, you know, it's funny because now we'll have shows where we're... Uh, people will show up and they'll br bring their kids. So we do definitely see kind of this uh, spanning generations thing. I don't know. I, I think we, you know, we keep it clean. <laughs> what would you, show. What do you describe show. Your, your style of music as? We always say uh, acoustic-based rock, you know, mm -hmm. we're an acoustic duo. And t uh, tonight, though, will be a full band show. So that'll be really? fun. We'll do acoustic duo and full band show. So it'll be a lot of fun. And tell us about the show tonight. Shows at the Rustic. I've never yes. set foot in that place. I've heard nothing so but amazing love things. We're gonna love it. We have got some cameos. Pat Green is threatening to come join us for a song as well. Well, I know his so. wife is gonna be there, so you know there's gonna be family <laughs> in the building, so yeah. it might happen. I hope. How, are, are you friends with Pat? Yeah, we go way back. Pat stole my spin from me. I'm a little, oh. And I'm gonna tonight. I'm gonna steal it back. Okay. <laughs> Tonight I'm stealing it back. You're like I'm on his turf. Does he and still I'm spin? Steal Does it back. he still spin? Or maybe he doesn't spin I, as I, much I, as he I used to. I have not seen Pat okay. spin lately, but um. <laughs> I spin, and he used to come to our shows. He used to open for us a lot. It was funny because Pat was kind of like the guy that would come on our bus and maybe had a couple cocktails. And like, one hey, man, I'll play you this song. Here, check out. We're like, oh, Pat Green's on our bus again, playing a song. Is it fun to have um, th those music musical friends, like people like Pat, that you see become so successful? And then I'm sure he feels the same way about y'all. Do you celebrate each other's success, or are there any other friends like Pat that you're like, wow, we all started as just these young little musicians, and now you know, we're big boys? We've had several guy like Matchbox 20 opened for us for a couple weeks for like a whole tour. Wow, and, that's crazy. You know, a lot of bands that we've shared stages with and Vertical Matt, Matt, Horizon. Matt Scannell Matt played Scannell. with us last year at Windspear. Yeah. Yeah, you guys stay really grounded. Well, and that, you. I think, is unusual. <laughs> Well, we're really? blessed like with families and wives. Is and that what it is? Yes. Is, it, is it your significant other? And they probably don't let yeah. your heads get too big. Your yep, wife's like, okay, that. bring it down. Bring yeah. it back down. You're not bring that cool anymore. Bring it down bring out the trash. You know, like, I'll come up from a big <laughs> She's show. She's like, can yeah. you run and get us some stuff at the grocery store when you yeah. get home from your concert tonight? Can exactly. Yeah, that, and that, that five-year gap where we weren't, I, I wasn't performing at all and we weren't together, definitely we kind of, you know, probably learned a few life lessons through yeah. that. I'd say gratitude, yeah. We didn't have gratitude before, you know, what we had together. What we were able to do to play music, we didn't have gratitude now. It's just yeah. we're so grateful for what we have. It's every every time we get to play, it's just a blast. Do you see a lot of young musicians, like up and coming young musicians? Do you ever think, gosh, I want to sit them down and go, pull it together, <laughs> like get yes. your head out of your, you know what, oh, and just yeah. your their heads get too big? Was, would you say social media plays a big piece in that? Have y'all had a, has that affected y'all any? The social media world. We're not giant social. We we love social media. We'd love to be bigger on social media. We're not giant, but yeah, I definitely see kids. Um, coming up, and yeah, we'd love to sit down and just be like, please take, you know, be, be grateful for what you have, because you don't. We weren't either. That's the thing. We weren't when we were young. Everything was just kind of coming to us, and we were going and blowing, and 
playing around the world and doing stuff, and yeah. and uh, we weren't grateful for what we had, and then it it evaporated. And eventually. you have a fourteen year old son, fourteen seven, and almost five. And, and do you have children? I have one boy. He'll be ten in September. So if they come to you and say we want to be musicians, are you like, <laughs> heck no? Well, your fourteen year old does he ever sing with you guys? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Would, he would. He's at camp. He would sing with us tonight if he were here. He sang Aww. with us at the Windspear and. He joined us. He's yeah, there's a little picture of him inside y'all's album so cover, cute. which is so adorable, him rocking out over here. Um, thank you guys for being here, and y'all are well, going to go you. head over to our Troubadour Texas listening room and sing for us, too. But um, be sure, if you want to see these guys in person, you can catch Jack O'Pierce tonight at The Rustic. That's in Uptown Dallas. Show kicks off at 9 o'clock. Tickets are still available, um, and these guys, they'll also be back October 22nd with the Dallas Symphony. What a cool show. Um, and that's going to be at Clyde Warren Park. Okay, but right now, be sure to stick around, like we said because they are going to be um, sharing a special performance in just 15 minutes. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be back with more broadcasts right after that. Thank you very much.